Welcome, welcome, welcome to another edition of Big O's Top 20 Countdown. This week we're counting down the top 20 reggae songs according to uh, reggaevibes.com. Plus we're talking to our guest, Crucial. What's going on, brother? What's going on, bro? What's going on, Big O? Man, I'm blessed, brother. Let's start this countdown. The number 20 song comes from uh, Dexter Dabs and Jada Kingdom. This song is called Purge. Let's get into it. Purge by Dexter Dabs and Jada Kingdom on Big O. Stop 20 countdown. Yeah, you guys, that was the number 19 song, uh, Althea Hewitt with To Serve With Love. Man, you guys, I've been trying to get this man on my show forever. And he finally appears on Big Old Style 20 Countdown. I'm so glad to have him. He's a he's an artist, he's a rapper, he's multi-talented, he's part of the he's a basketball player, and I'm talking about none other than crucial. Tell me this is about yourself, brother. Man, you know, like man, you said, you know, man, like you said man, putting, putting it all together. Putting it all together. You know, you know, keeping everything going. Keeping everything going for the kids. Keeping all the fun. Keeping all the fun. Basketball. Basketball. All, basketball, all, all the stuff. Keeps the community. Keeps community. Yeah, man. You're so mellow. You're so mellow about it. I like that. You're just kind of mellow about it. You're just like, what? <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> no, I mean, you How know, you know, know it's crazy. You know, it's, you know, it's um, I don't know. It's I don't know. It's every day thing. I don't see it as being nothing major. Nothing major. Yeah, it is major because you, man, you're really talented, man. I'm not just blowing smoke up your behind. Um, I gotta. Uh, we're gonna start with the art. How did you get into uh, making art? Yeah, we all. Are, we all. Are, we all. Are, I just didn't stop. Yeah. Yeah. How, how, and at what, at what you know, people, people in my family, people, my, family, people, 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 people my mom, my mom, my dad, my parents, my parents, my uncles, I come from, I come from family, artists. family artists. Wow. Wow. That is so cool. They, they, your mother's an artist. I didn't know that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And what, what age did you start drawing? What age, what age was it for you? It sounds like a pencil. It sounds like a pencil. It sounds like a pencil. It Wow, wow, that is deep. We're going to talk more. We're going to get more into your bit. Uh, yeah, to your, your, yeah, your, yeah everybody, everybody, like, everybody, everybody, like I said, everybody starts off as an artist. Wow, that is cool. That is cool. Um, But you guys, we're going to um talk more to our guest, Crucial. But let's get back in this countdown. The number 18 song comes from Ginger. This song is called Tune Up. Let's get into a ginger with tune up on big old top 20 countdown, baby. Yeah, yo, that was a number 17 song, Roaming Virgo featuring Massacre with Been There Before. We're talking to our guest Crucial. And you're you're also a rapper, am I correct? Yes. Yes. How how long you been rapping? Um I know since a kid. I know since a kid. Since you were a kid. Yeah, over, you know, over, you know, over 30 over years. Over 30 years. Wow. What attracted you to to rap music? Like, who were your influences? Um, well, well, you know, well, well, you know, you know, rap, you know, rap. That's when, that's when I'm born. I'm born. Well, that's, mm -hmm. all, that's all. I was. I'm forty six. I'm forty six. Right? Right? Fifty years. Fifty so years. So it's my culture. It's my culture. I mean, that's 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 the that's, that's the music I grew up here. I grew up here. Wow. Music you grew up with. What 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 song that you just that you heard that just said you know what this is something I really wanted to do this is something I really want to do what song what what do you have a particular song or you just you just grew up into it? It's a, it's a couple. It's a, it's a couple of different. Yeah, um, yeah, um, cool J. Uh, I'm bad. I'm bad. Can't live without my Can't radio. live without my radio. Ice Cube, yeah. Ice Cube, Run DMC. Run DMC. Like, when it comes to me, it's all those. It's all those. It's inspired me to want to listen to it. Listen to it. And then, uh, and then, uh, you know, as you get older, you know, as you get older, you, 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 you can put your own, put your own together. Work together. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I know how you feel about that. Yeah, yeah, it's, just yeah it's just another form of art. Too, art too, so you know, music just, music can't, just can't, can't, yeah, so you gradually just filmed the interview. That's really cool. Man, that's really cool. We're going to talk more to you, but we got to get back in this countdown. Uh, this next song is called 
is by Jcom. The song is called Tempted. Let's get into it. Tempted by Jcom, number 16. I'm going to go stop 20 countdown. Yeah, y'all, that was the number 15 song, YG with um, YG Marley with Praise Ja in the Moonlight. And we're talking to our guest, Crucial. And speaking of rap, we're going to get into one of your songs. The song is called Change the World. Tell me about this. Uh, 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 um, campaign, campaign, campaign that they were doing for water, water, water and this kid wrote. And, and one to me, one to me, the artist that were in this kid as far as musicians brought me out, brought me out vocalist. vocalist. So I had them, so I had them uh, meet the choir, meet the choir of, of Urban Voices, voices. and Venado, Christopher Venado. Christopher Venado. Um, they um, wanted, they me, wanted to me just to do artwork. the artwork for uh, for um, campaign. the campaign, but didn't happen. But didn't happen to where they found out. They found out I did music. So they, so they, you know, they, they, you know, they ended up the putting a lot of the skill artists. I mean, I end the end the song. Wow. That is so cool. It's out, it out of Berlin. They're out of Berlin. Oh, they were out of Berlin. Wow. Wow. Let's get into this song. This this song is uh, crucial with Change the World on Big Old Stop 20 Countdown, baby. Yeah. Yeah, you guys. I heard that song. That's one of my favorite songs. Change the World. I really like that song. Um, so you say you're a, you're a Skid Row artist. I mean, a lot of people have negativity about Skid Row, how are you working to change that? Um, um, yeah, I guess, yeah, conversation I guess in conversation, I read on, uh, speak to, speak I mean, you, to, know, I mean, you know, everyone has their opinion, opinion until, you until you come to it. Mm -hmm. So, um, so um, my thing is just, my thing is just change to change the people in, in the role. In the role. Really not really the people outside, outside. we're not really worried about, about changing how they, changing how they see things. things. Just just change the people in the role, the role. Yeah, they, have they, no they have no opportunity but to, but to change their, change their, their mindset, their mindset outside, outside of it. Because you have to change, you have to change inside, inside, inside first. You're right. You're right about that. You're right about that. And uh, what makes you pro, uh, used to be proud to say, yeah, I'm a Skid Row artist. What makes you proud to say that? I mean, is there you are you proud of it or are you just like... Oh, gee, man. Oh, gee, man. Yeah. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. But you're also a basketball player, am I correct? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I played yeah, ball. I played ball. I went into college. And you also part of the Venice League. You also part of the Venice League. Yeah. 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 You're also part of the Venice League, am I correct? The Venice Beach. Yeah, Venice yeah. yeah. Basketball yeah. League. Yeah. That was it. Yeah. Yeah. One of the, one of the, you know, um, you know um, one of the people I think it's built up from my, back. Off my back. Wow! How did you get into? How did you get into? Uh, uh, how did you graduate from Skid Row to Venice Beach Basketball League? I was doing. Venice I was doing Venice Beach before. I before came I came to Skid Row, I played Venice Beach since I was like thirteen. Wow. Okay. So the first so started, started, started the Venice Basketball League asked me to come out when they first started it, and that was before. And that was before you know. Before I, even Before I even thought about coming, thought about coming this year. Wow, well, you just and you just you just naturally graduated uh, gravitated towards basketball. Am I correct? Do you use some of your basketball in your art? No, not really. no, not really. No, my, no, my, as, a kid, as a kid, I did. As a kid, I, as a kid, I used to draw basketball. Draw basketball pictures. Yeah, you know, that's because I didn't yeah, have, have much to. Draw, draw, anything or anything I had experiences. Oh, wow. Uh, basketball. Basketball comes, comes from, you know, being, you know, in, the being in the neighborhood. My dad played basketball, cousins, friends. You know, what was that? Magic Johnson, Magic Johnson as I, Thomas. Isaiah Thomas, real big. Yeah. Real big. When, I was born, when I was born, so. Well, actually, Dr. Well, actually, Dr. Dr. J was, was big when I was born. Wow. <laughs> That is so cool. That is so cool. We're going to talk more to you, Crucial, but let's get back in this countdown. The number 13, 14 song comes from Protege. The song is called 30 Million. Let's get into a 30 Million by Protege on Big O. Oh, stop 20 countdown. I stole that from Soul Train. <laughs> yeah, I always say that. 
Um, you guys, we did three in a row for you. We did uh, 30 million, number 14 uh, by Protege. Number 13 was Busy Signal with Rose Petals. And number 12 was Weed and Thing. We Weed and Tings. Weed and Tings by Protege and Zion One Kings. And it's now it's time to get in the comedy corner. The comedy corner is by one of my favorite people ever. Her name is, um, Aretha, you know I know I'm not gonna play her. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play Chris Gardner because one of my other favorites. Let's play here the comedy corner with Chris Gardner on the Stop Twenty Countdown. I love it. Yeah, you guys, that was a very, very famous, uh, very, very awesome Chris Gardner, and we're talking to our guest, crucial, the all-time, the multi-talented, uh, uh, the artist. The uh, the uh, painter, I mean the the painter and artist the same thing, but <laughs> the basketball player, the uh, the skiro of the what you call it, Cristiano, and also he's a father. Not only that, but he's a really awesome friend too. Um, I'm gonna tell yo, you guys, we've been, yo, we've been, been knowing each other. Oh, going on what? 18, 18, 20, 20 years. Twenty years. Twenty years since I first got the row. Yeah. 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 Because yeah. I came down. I think like, I came down. One person you know, bleeding OG time. from the time you've been there. Yep. Yep. I because uh, I think I met you met you with through the uh, street ball league. I think it was whether OG or one of them. I don't know. I came down to the park one day. I was living right across the street from the park, and I was like, I might as well check you check y'all out. I went over there and I met all y'all, and we've been we've been tight ever since, man. And he was he was also on my when I used to have like a. Um, What's that show? A video show, the old show. You were on the show. Remember 13 years ago? Yeah, yeah. you were on the show. Yeah. We did an interview with you and, and the kids. And now I saw the kids lately and they're all grown up. I can't believe it. Big kids. Man. Big kids now. Man, time time goes by fast, doesn't it, brother? That's, that's, that's the truth. Man. What has what has your being talented all of, well, I mean, if you had if you had to choose one career what if you had to choose between art between music and between anything else what what would you choose which one would you choose and to, to do for the rest of your life art, if you only had to choose art, one because I can do it for the rest of my life wow wow so you can do it for the rest of your life describe yeah, you know what yeah you know um Music you, know, music, you have to energetic, be energetic. You have to, you have to be stand up, up and entertain the crowd. Entertain the crowd. Art doesn't, you art doesn't, you know, to paint. You know, that's, not, you know, required. that's not required. Yeah, yeah, you're right about that. You're definitely right about that. You're definitely right about that. When did you? What was it? Was it one thing? We're getting back to the art. Was it? Did you have your first? What, what was it like? Who told you that you were talented? Who who gave you like? You know who who gave you like the foundation to say you know what you're talented and gave you the motivation. Who was your motivation factor when in your heart? Who was your motivation? I don't, I'm, I don't know if I'm, 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 I'm She was like, "Oh my god, my baby!" <laughs> you know how mothers are. Yeah, 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 without yeah. Doubt she without doubt, doubt, she's the one that you know put the confidence, put the confidence in, in me, told me I could do it. Wow. And. You you have murals all over Skid Row. You've had uh, what was your one? What's the one one of the most favorite paintings that you ever painted? Do you have a favorite painting that you ever painted? Well, I think the biggest. Well, I think the, the biggest most, uh, the most um, recognized recognized is probably, is probably people concerned people building. concerned building. Oh okay. Off of Art of Art of Art of oh okay. What what is that? What, what what do you call that? What do you call that that uh, that art piece? It was, a dear, it was a dear neighbor mural. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, I have to see that. I've never seen that. I've never seen that one. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. You can see me on the 10th freeway. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I'm gonna have to see that. You know, he also did a did a um, a mural. I think it was on. Uh, the, I just saw it a couple of days ago. It was a catch twenty one fish? Was the fish spot? Oh, okay, so. oh, yeah, I like the the one. I was I was just at the uh, opening like a month or two ago. Tell me, tell me, tell me how that came to be. That's uh, that's uh, the hippie uh, kitchen. Hippie kitchen. Yeah, not the hippie kitchen, they but the one. The one. No, no, no. Oh, they donated the mural. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. 
Wow, I didn't know that. Wow. That is so cool. And you just painted, you just painted. And they they came and got you directly. No, they have an artist. No, they have an artist. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's a Catholic worker. It's a Catholic I worker. I just work with him. Oh, okay. Wow. That is so cool. No. No. Talking to his dog. Talking to his dog. Trouble, oh, okay. You trying to jump up? <laughs> I thought you said no. I was like, uh-oh. Did I say something wrong? <laughs> Have you had have you had any like art you, you were also involved in the uh what's the thing? Art walk, am I correct? Which art walk? Which art walk? Because they used to have like an art work walk right there on um in downtown, the downtown art walk. Oh yeah. Oh at yeah. At one point we're trying to figure out how we're gonna, gonna get back to all of that now. Oh, okay. That is so cool. We're gonna we're gonna ask you this other question when I come back, but let's get back in this countdown. The number eleven song comes from uh, Richie Stevens. This call, song is called "Statue of a Fool." Let's get into it. "Statue of a Fool" by Richie Stevens on Big Old Top Twenty Countdown. Yeah, you guys, that was "Practice What You Preach" by Bounty Bounty Killer. Bounty Killer, shout out to you. And you know what? Now it's time to get into the second extra song of the week. Second extra song of the week comes from. Um, Crucial. This song is called Who That Boy? Tell me, tell me about this song, please. Who That Boy? Crucial. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me about that song, Who That Boy? Oh, you were talking oh, about you were talking about you know, what, you know, what, what I was doing when you said who that boy, I was thinking you were talking about like the reggae song. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 because remember you told me what you want me to play yeah, the song. No, who that boy? That boy, that was uh, I did that. With, I did that with uh, uh, Mike Towns, the guy out of Pasadena. Yeah, from okay, yeah, from shot the video also. Oh, okay. Is that the one? That's yeah. the one where you on the train, yeah, right? It was my thing. Was my thing was wanting to make sure I did a video. Uh, sure, I was the artist. I was scared. Rose was the rapper. So, wow. Okay, let's get into the song. Who that boy? By with crucial by on big. Woo! Stop twenty countdown, baby. Yeah, I like that song. Who that boy? That's a good song, man. That's a really good song. I like it, man. You're you're a great artist, man. You're a great artist. You're a great uh, rapper, man. For real, man. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. I really appreciate it, man. Um, you've had you've had art shows before, haven't you? Have you you've, have you ever had just an art show of just your work? Um, um, yeah, I did. I did yeah, one, I, did, I did one last year. Last year, in uh, February. February. How does that how does that go? How does that go? Tell me tell me. Give me details about that. How how did how how, how, how was it set up and what, what happened? Well more than anything make some connections. Well more than anything make some connections for future jobs. For future jobs. But, um, but um, always doing the individual show people get to see your personal work. See your personal work. That's so, awesome. So, and they just piggybacking, yeah, piggybacking off of that. Piggybacking off of that. Just really, for a lifestyle, for a lifestyle, you know. Yeah. What's next for you? What 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 what, what projects do you have coming up? The cause for the cause fest. fest. I want to turn everything into cause. Cause walls, cause walls, cause festival, cause sound, cause soundtrack. You know, some other you know, some things. Main things. Everything, everything is down for this cause. And uh, and so that's, uh, that's my big month, month, month. Next big next big push push only. Wow, wow, that that's cool, that's cool. Um, we got we got a lot of time. We're gonna talk more to you. We're gonna talk more to you. But let's get back in this countdown. The number nine song comes from Roman Virgo. This song is called "Switch on You." Let's get into it. "Switch on You" by Roman Virgo on Big Old Stop Twenty Countdown, baby. Yeah, yeah, you guys, we did three in a row for you. We did Roman Virgo with Switch on You. We did Hezron and Big Youth with I Shall Be Released. At number uh, seven was Q Q Your with uh, I'll Be Waiting. And it's time to get into the Independent Song of the Week. You told me you had another song you wanted me to play. Um, um, 
it's it's on, it's on like Apple Music, like Apple Music yeah. stuff like that. LeBron, okay. LeBron. What's it? It's called LeBron. Yeah. Yeah. Let me know about that. I want you. I I, I want to know uh about that. I really want to know about that song, LeBron. We yeah. Let me know. Give me give me some info the, uh, about that. The uh, the uh, longevity. longevity. The the on and off the court on and off the court behavior. Just, just being more than being just, more than athlete, just the on the athlete floor. on the floor. Mm. It's bigger than it's the money bigger than the money type LeBron. girls being LeBron. All right, now. All right, now. You said that's, you know, that's, 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 that's how that's how LeBron's song is being bigger than on the floor. Okay, LeBron's song is being bigger than on the floor. Oh, okay. So let's get into it. LeBron by Crucial on Big Ooh, Top 20 Countdown, baby. Yeah, that's a good song. Crucial with LeBron. <laughs> man, you're talented, man. You got you got skills, brother. You got skills, brother, and I can see why why people always want you want, want you on their on their songs and stuff like that. I'm gonna try to get you on one of my songs, but it's gonna be all right. We'll do yeah, it. We're we'll do it happen. one day, brother. Happen, man, we're gonna make it happen this year. Yeah, I hope so, man. I got I love, a whole bunch of songs, love, man. Like, um, when I miss you, I, I miss you performing in the uh, Skid Row Artist uh, Festival. Uh, festival. Oh yeah, I I did it. I did it. I did it. Uh, in October. Yeah, I performed my new song. One of my new songs. Over there, I uh, will we'll premiere my song "Living for Love." I don't know if you you missed that. What, what, what day yeah, did you, you? What day were you? Yeah, you, huh? you. You performed. You, you uh, performed second day. The, the second day. Yeah. What what day were you there? I performed the first day, but I saw you perform. I the performed day. the first day, but I saw you perform the second day. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got, we got, man. Shoot. We, we, we. All we gotta do is make it happen. Let me know. I'll be there, brother. I'll be there, man. Gotcha. Let me know what you want me to gotcha. do, man. Um, where do you see yourself? I always ask this question. Where do you see yourself in like five years? Um, what what you want? What do you want to be doing in five years? Hmm. Hopefully, with a hopefully with a organization spread out, organization spread out to a couple other countries, couple other countries. and that calls and that calls. Being a major push, being a major push, festival and all that, festival and, and all that, you know, and something big, you know, yeah, that's yeah, that's the that's awesome, the that's that's the, the goal. Mm. That's freaking awesome, man. That's awesome, brother. Um, is there is there one person that, oh. Uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't think. Ah, uh, asked the question already. But we're gonna. We're gonna. I'm gonna come back to you. I'm gonna come back to you. We're gonna get. We're gonna get to your business next. All right. We're gonna get to your business right. next. But uh, right. let's get. Uh, let's get back in this count. The number six song comes from uh, Kevin Downswell, featuring Lucas Music. This song is called Grace. Let's get into it. Grace by Kevin Downswell, featuring Lucas Music on the whole Top Twenty Countdown. Baby. Yeah. Yeah, you guys, that was a number five song. Marlon, Asher, Taurus, Riley, and Capleton with Diamonds and Gold. And you guys, it's, let's get into this old school jam of the week. The old school jam of the week is because, you know, we're, this is this show is going to be airing on April 25th. And this is one of my very favorite, favorite artists. It's her birthday. Her name is Ella Fitzgerald. And she has a song that I really, really love. It's called Old Mother Hubbard. Let's get into it. The old school gentleman week, Ella Fitzgerald with Old Mother Hubbard on Big Old Stop 20 Countdown. Yeah, you guys, that was Old Mother Hubbard. She went to the cover. I know the whole song by heart. That's one of my favorites. She was born on this day on 1917, which is 100 and, I'm going to get wrong, 107 years. Wow. She would have been 107 years old today. Happy heavenly birthday to uh um, 107 years. Now, 107 years. 107, yeah. 117? 117. Yeah, anyways, 107. Anyways, 107. I was right. 17. 107. Duh. Don't give don't make me think like don't make me think like I'm like, I don't know how to count. 
<laughs> Bro, I gotta ask this. Um, I want you to shout out, shout out your loved ones, shout out your kids, shout out your your wife, everybody. Shout out everybody who supported you. Shout everybody out. I want you. To, this is your time to shout everybody out. Yeah, we gotta get shot to the family. Yeah, we gotta get shot to the family. Shout out to the community of Skid Row. Millie Lamert. Millie Lamert. South Central LA. Shout out because uh, uh, I'm here because of those. Those people. Those people. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's they give awesome. me a platform. They give me a platform to speak. And they honor it. So it makes and me want to make sure I speak. It, so it makes me want to make sure I speak. Um, educated and. Um, educated and. and Wow. That's wow. That's deep, man. You're a man of few words. But you know what? I know you're a man of few words, but I want you to go real deep. I'm going to give you a minute and a half, two minutes. I want you to give me something inspirational that you want somebody who's actually who wants to be an artist, wants to be uh, who wants to do what you're doing, be a basketball player. Uh, I want you to give me just two minutes of inspiration. Give me that. Um, um, when it comes to when it comes um, to uh, being a professional, being a professional, first line with the first line with you, you, know, you, know, you, you know, your crafts, you know, your crafts, a lot of time into that. First, line, first, and you can't be afraid. You can't be afraid to, uh, to uh, attack what you want. Attack what you want. But at the same time, but at the same time, you have to realize that everybody, everybody, has, their everybody has their role. So. I think I think people are you know everyone has their you know everyone has their own everybody has their job they're 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 supposed to do the things you put here is a benefit or two make room for make room for someone else to come and follow behind you follow behind you but they they do the next they do the next step like some people like some people plow some people water some people water so. So I think uh, depending I think, uh, on what position you're in, what position you're in maybe it's the best job you can do. And, uh, and what's uh, meant for you is going to work out. But the whole thing is, but the whole thing you know, is just, you know, work out. Drink water, water, drink water, 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 that's awesome. That's all. That's yeah, so true. That's so true. Go ahead. That's awesome, brother. That's awesome. That's awesome. You were just under the two minute mark, but we got you, brother. We know exactly what you're saying. Sometimes you don't really need to say that much, man. Man, that's awesome, bro. But you know, we're gonna talk more to you. But let's get back in this countdown. The number four song comes from Lilia Ik. This song is called "Good and Great." This has been on the chart for a long time. Let's get into it. "Good and Great" by Lilia Ik on Big Woo! Top Twenty Countdown. Yeah, you guys, we did uh, three in a row for you. We did Lilia Ik with "Good and Great." Number three was uh, M Ambrose featuring Kappa. Pyramid. This song was that song was on Nah Sell Nah Sell Out. And number two was Collie Buds with You Around. Um, now it's time to get into the number one song. The number one song is a fresh new song. It's been it's it's been number one for like only one week, and this just became number one. This song is by Ja Vinci. This song is called God Up. Let's get into it. God Up on Ja by Ja Vinci. Number one on Big Old Stop Twenty Countdown, baby. Yeah, y'all, that was a got up with by John Vinci, with by John Vinci, and crucial. How can people yes, reach you, bro? Yes, sir. How can people reach you? Uh, social, uh, media, social media, Instagram is SD Brown, SD Bear. Brown Bear, and uh, and uh, on Facebook, on Facebook is crucial air. Crucial hearing. All right, man. I want to say thank you so much to our guest, Crucial Hearing. You made man, you made my day. Finally, finally, we yeah, here on the show. And uh, I want to say thank you to so much to all of the stations that carry us: the Block FM, 
uh, the what you call the SoCal Radio recently reunited with uh, Kill Radio. Um, also to the Podcast Awards, thank you so much for the award. Um, who else? Who else? Uh, Apple Music, Spotify, everybody who supported this. This is our season. This season eight. This is our. This is the third fifth show of season eight. I think this is the three hundred and ninth show of the season. Wow, you made it, bro. 309. 309 episodes of this podcast so far. I'm like, wow, I feel so blessed to still be here. And thank you guys for lifting me up. And if you all want to reach me, you can reach me at www.linktree.com backslash O-L-U-S-H-E-Y-I dot B-A-N-J-O. Also, thank you to everybody who supported me last week at the Pride Festival. It was really fantastic. Thank you so much. Um, man, I appreciate oh, it, man. I appreciate, it, man. I appreciate you just thinking, thinking about me. My pleasure, bro. You know, you know I got your back always. You know that. You know that. And you know what? The, our thought for the week is never give up. No matter what happens, never give up. And, you know, we always end this with the gospel song of the week. And you guys have made this song so fantastic. This is my song. This song is called Agape Love. Let's get into it. Agape Love, my song. May God bless you. May God keep you. Until we meet again.